Hi, this is Anil. In this video, I'll talk about parameterized reunion test cases. Why do we need uh, parameterized reunion test cases? Suppose uh, if I want to test this add method for different input values, uh, say if I want to test uh, this add method for 10 input values, then I need to write 10 tests for add method. We have to repeat this test for 10 times. Instead of writing this, we can create a parameterized test cases. To create parameterized test cases, first we'll create a class add parameter add parent test. For to create a parameterized test case, first we need to annotate this class with parameterized runner. This class, this test case will be run with parameterized runner. Second, we need to create a public static method that should return collection of object array. This method returns the test data. Here we will create object array data. This object array contains our test data. Here I am giving the expected result and the input parameter 2 and second parameter 4. In the second test case I'm expecting value 7 and the first parameter is uh, 4 and second parameter is 3 so 4 plus 3 is 7. In third test case I am expecting 8 and giving 2 as a first parameter and 6 as a second parameter and we have to return the collection so we need to is arrays arrays dot as list and pause the data and this method should be annotated with and we'll return this annotated with params parameters and next we need to write a constructor And this constructor we need to pass three parameters. One is uh, expected result. Second one is uh, first parameter. First param, first value. And one more is second value. And we'll create three instance variables. This is expected result. One more is first val. One more is second val. And we'll assign this dot expected result equal to expected result and the first val equal to first val and this dot second val equal to second val. And now we'll do the test. And this test is for testing add method. And now we'll write assert dot asset equals expected is expected result and 
actually is will write fixture here before and public wide setup and click create character instant reference and instantiate this calculator and release call this add method and pass first val and pass second val whenever I run this test case first this parameterized runner class parameterized test runner class run this static method and get the first array item and create the instance of this class and pass this data to the constructor that means six will be positive expected result and these two will be passed first and second parameters respectively and after uh, constructing the object it calls test hire method by the time these values will be available to this method so it take these values and run the test cases now I'll run the test cases and it got the results and all are passed so we got in bar this call parameter as a test case and it is useful when you want to run test case with multiple input values thanks for watching